Hello, welcome to the Lois and Lamar TV Talk Show. I am Lois, your host. Hosted alongside me is none other than the famous Mr. Lamar Bombry. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And we have as our special guest tonight, Eric McFadden. How are you? As you all know, Eric McFadden is a renowned gospel artist. He's just not tri-state, Philadelphia, New Jersey, Delaware. He is renowned. And Eric is going to share a little bit of his journey as a gospel artist here with us this evening. And some of the other things he has going, you have a lot of stuff in the fire out well, there. Would you like to share some of that with us? You know, um, thank you for that introduction. I, I didn't know you were talking about. <laughs> I, I, we, I, I hey, wasn't sure. We are always our, our biggest critics. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, you know, much much appreciated. We well, can see the light shining from you, though. That's what it's hey, about. Hey, man, man, man. You know, um, I definitely uh, enjoy you know, what I do. I started playing, uh, you know, drums and percussions when I was four. And um, just always wanted to, you know, pursue, you know, um, my dream, which is just to do music period in, in any capacity. So um, um, I deem myself as successful, uh, as a successful, uh, you know, musician, um, just being able to still be here today and to be able to do, um, you know, what I'm doing. You love doing it, right? Absolutely. You know, then that's success. As long as you love doing it, like that's the you know, point. Because everybody's, you know, the way they, you know, view success, you know, some, a lot of people view it as uh, money and selling a million records and all that type of stuff. Um, That's what for they me, think success is. For me, it's just being able to do what you love and um, then just to be, you know, consistent with it. And, yeah, um, but you know. like there's so many people out there that think they're successful when they reach a certain top pinnacle. But to be honest with you, once they get there, they realize it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, all material things they really don't mean too much because everything that's new becomes old. Right, right, right. So you'll never be fulfilled, you know. So they they do these things thinking it's going to make them happy, and it's not even in their lane. But they don't realize that till they're already there. You already have something that they don't even know that they should be um, reaching for. Right, right, right. And and validation is is important. You know, uh, some of us seek validation from from others mm -hmm. and they think that that validates you and where you are and that is not the case. It's quicksand. You just sink deeper at all. and deeper. You that is, that is not everybody. the case. It just doesn't happen. At all. Like you said, there's, there's lanes and, um, you know, you build your, you know, support, follows, whatever word they're using today, fan base, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. But at the end of the day, as long as you stay true to yourself, you know, you will be successful. So say, say it again for the people in the As long them know as you stay true to yourself, self. you will be successful. Now, I know you guys the great, he's the great, Eric McFadden in Total Praise Alliance. Do you do any other type of music besides gospel? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, um, you know, pretty much play it all. Uh, R&B, um, jazz, country. You know, okay, the country? Dixie, Come you name around. it. I've, I've okay. been on all types of, uh, you know, gigs, sets, whatever term, you know, you want to use. And it's just fun. I just love music, period. So, um, all music comes from God anyway. So, it's, you know, it's a universal language. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to understand the words to feel the music. That's the one yeah, thing about yeah. music. You can have it speak a totally different language. And if you hear a song, either you're going to like it or you're not. You don't have right, to know right. what they're saying. Just the melody of it all strikes you a certain way. So you're absolutely right. That's why it is from God. Right. Now, gospel music is definitely my favorite, especially when it comes down to, you know, playing drums, you know, aggressive style, just, you know, just, just banging it yeah, out. It's, yeah, it's, it's, but, you know, but I enjoy playing all genres, you know, of music, so. And, and, and what else do you have um, out there burning on the fire besides all this good music that you play? Is there anything else uh, oh, I that mean, you'd you know, like to share with us? We have a few things, um, um, you know, in, in the, in the works, uh, with a, a couple of friends of mine, they have some uh, short films that they're working on, and I'm going to be over the soundtracks oh, for that. Great. And uh, you know, to, they're going to try to present it to—I um, don't want to tell all their business, but you know, Netflix, Crackle, mm -hmm. some of the 
the free TV. Are you allowed yeah. to say the names, or are we still? No, I gotta wait. Under yeah, the table yeah, yeah, I got, I gotta wait. I don't want to. It's an industry thing, you know. When we yeah, don't say know. nothing, we, we really can't. I just gotta know? do what I'm Not told. To I don't want to, I don't want to get in trouble. Right. Yeah, yeah, you that's really right. can't. Cause I don't, I don't want it to kick me off the job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah, fine. Yeah, don't get uh, off. You know? Yeah, we don't fine. want that. We don't want that. We want that. Understood. Understood. So is, do you come from a family that's musically inclined, or is it just, just? Everything. Yes, um, you know, so my my grandfather was a, a choir director, and uh, you know, my mother was was always uh, you know into music. My mom used to you know sing you know hard, heavy, you know, and strong in in, in the church. And um, okay, you know, a funny story that I like that I like to tell people. So when I was young, yeah, uh, you know, going to church with my mom, I used to go to four or five services with her a day. You remember how they used to do it back in the day? You know, church all morning, all day. more morning, yeah, yeah, church, yeah, yeah, afternoon church. You could say morning church. twice. Break to yeah. the church, lunch. come back <laughs> at afternoon, late afternoon. Yeah. Yes, all all of all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so when I was young, I used to go to church with you know with my mom and uh, you know be sitting in the pews and. You know, out of the clear blue sky, she would just start acting what I thought was crazy because I was young. You know, so she was shouting. And, mm -hmm. You know, I was young, so I didn't understand it. You know, yeah, I but, think that was crazy too. But I, what I did know and know this is that, you know, she was dancing to the drummer's beat, mm -hmm. and I would be in the, you know, in the in the chair looking at the drummer <laughs> like I like, would do that. Kill kid, you be you be like real like reserved, and also as soon as they jump, you just like. Yeah, that that would that would be that would that would be me, and I would just wouldn't wasn't sure what was going You're on. You look at anyone else to see if it's strange, but everyone's into it. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Into this stuff. Yeah. So I was getting All annoyed right. with the drummer because it's like the harder he played, the more he played, the more, you know, mom danced and shouted. And I was like, man, as soon as church is over, man, I'm, I'm stepping this. Cause now I'm mind you, I'm like this big. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, you know, I didn't understand, you know, what it was, and lo and behold, I. Became a drummer. Well, you know, our ancestry is percussion and rhythm. Yeah. The motherland, yeah. so of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. when the drums come on, be ready to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but that's just a little, you know, funny story. I get a laugh out of that. I how I right. used to be annoyed with the drummer because, you know, he, he wouldn't made stop playing. Jump. He was making my mom jump. I wanted to sit, just sit <laughs> down. Just sit down and sit next to me. I want, That's all I wanted to do, but, you know. Every week, week in and week out, you know, that's that's what it was. So that's that's my little funny story. Uh, wow. About that, but you know, again, I enjoy what I do. I, I enjoy so, you I have do. anything new coming up for the, for the people out there? Any new CD releases or songs? Yeah, we have a, a single out right now currently called uh, "He Reigns." Um, okay. You know, it's been out for you know several several months now, and it's, it's doing doing pretty well. Okay. Um, and you know, we're just in the lab, you know, finishing out the album. Um, you know, right now. You know, Are you going to be working on solo projects like in the future, like after this is all done? No, no, no. I, I, the only thing solo I'm doing is playing the drums. Yeah, I am not a solo artist at all. It is teamwork make the dream work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you it won't. is hard though. You will not catch me on a solo project at all. My at own. All. Mm -mm. It is instruments. You said, listen, I am a link in the chain. That is what I chain. am. <laughs> yes, teamwork make the dream work. Shout out to TPA. TPA. My family. All right. Uh, you know, much love to them. You actually sit back there and play the drums when y'all perform. Every time no, I, I come no, to see no. you perform, you've always had the mic doing the thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll be at the mic, you know, but um, no, I have I have a drummer, um, you know. Uh, so he's, he's up there emceeing. And I just, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. But no, I don't, I don't play for my, my uh, own group. I have other groups that I, you know, that I play for. Oh, but, you know, I have you a, drummer. you know, okay. a drummer. Uh, shout out to Lavelle Blaine. And then my son, uh, Jaden plays when uh, he can't make it. He plays the drums also? Yes, my son plays wow, the drums Wow, so also. you have a lot of jumping going on in the McFadden household. Yeah, well, both my sons <laughs> play drums. Uh, my youngest son right wow. now, you know, takes it seriously. Uh, my oldest son, you know, and, and he definitely can play, but, you know, he's at that age, you know, yeah, so he... Yeah. He'll, he'll, get, share, he'll, he'll get back to music, when, you know, when he's, when he's ready. It's the, share, it's the share of genes. Yeah. It, all, it always comes down, you know, the DNA somewhere. Yeah. And it's yeah. always going to pop up. Then when yeah. they have kids, one of them's gonna like it, one isn't. Then another yeah. one's gonna come down, another one. That's just how it is. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, that's um, pretty much where it is. My older sister, she was into uh, music as well, um, and you know, and she sang some as well. And then you know, my younger sister Kenya kind of just took off. And Kenya Key, she the woman. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> tables done, done turned. I mean, at, at, at now I kind of count on Kenya to keep me working, oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> they always shout out to uh, Kenya Kalia. <laughs> shout out. Keep a brother working, you know. Um, you know, she's just phenomenal. I've watched her grow from um, being able to play Mary Had a Little Lamb yeah. to everything yeah. Uh, yeah. now. So, yeah. and uh, and extremely humble, you know. That's you a beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Like when yeah. you see someone start, like I said, playing Mary Had a Little Lamb. And then yeah. they, 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 then all of a sudden they turn the Phantom of the Opera. All the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start killing it and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. She'll definitely be killing. Thing. Yeah, yeah. She definitely be killing. So you know, again, we all love you know what what we do. Mm -hmm. you, know? you gotta love it. You know, fun. You know, passion and um, you know, just. Um, we're blessed by it, you know. Mm -hmm. We know we're a blessing to others when we do what we do, and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, because you know you can't be good at something unless you love it. Mm -hmm. You have to, because if you don't love it, you're not going to stick with it long enough to be good. Right, right, right. You're just going to be lukewarm. <laughs> Stay on your job, people. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you see, Eric McFadden and, and the Total Praise Alliance in the future? What do you see them at? So, you know, where would you like to to go with that in the future? The, the the truthful answer is just you know like I said earlier just being you know consistent um, you know we want to be able to just uh, grow and, and and move move forward um, every project that we do you know we just want to you know get better and um, you know as long as we're you know reaching the people you know there's lanes for every everybody so mm -hmm. um, there's some solo artists that can't reach um, people that like just groups. Mm -hmm. There's some groups that really can't reach See what like the people artists. that like solo artists. There's some mm -hmm. um, groups that can't reach people that like mass choirs. Mm -hmm. So there's lanes, um, you know, for everybody. So as as far as you know, with us, just want to be consistent. Um, keep putting out, you know, good music, um, heartfelt. You know, keep on being um, spirit led mm -hmm. and. You know, it's not about trying to be a superstar, but it's about just trying to be um, consistent. Just and as long it. as you have the, the love and the passion for what you're doing. Just do it. You know, just, just do it. Just, right. just, just do, do it. it. And uh, um, that's it. How many people are in TPA? I remember when it was a little bit of people. And now when I go on YouTube and I look at your music and it's like, Ooh. Yeah, so you know, all these people you've grown so much. Just like, just like uh, you know, uh, every other group, you know, we've had uh, our, our ups and downs. At one point, we had um, in the beginning, it was like maybe forty singers at one point. In the in the very beginning, you know how it is in the beginning when you yeah. start something, everybody flocks everybody to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you know, things happen, and you go so you go from forty to you know thirty that. 20 and 25 and you know you, but have, you have your i call it having the five heartbeats moments yeah 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 <laughs> we, we we've had that but you know my uh you know definitely uh, grateful for for the crew that that we have um now it's about about 20 of us total uh maybe a few more that like includes like the the management and the you know the, the staff and whatnot so you know we work together well and uh just yeah absolutely love my team and um Again, the mindset of it is to just do the do the work. You know, nobody's trying to be mm -hmm. uh, any Super superstars hero, right? or anything. You know, that's right. um, and that's how you become one. Inadvertently, just, people don't realize. As long yeah. as you trying to be a star, you'll never be a star. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's you work not hard and keep your nose to the grindstone. All them sparks. Sooner or later, you're gonna turn into a star by default. It just happens that way. Yeah. So I, I just recommend it. To uh, anybody that's any musician, artist, um, just if, if you want to do it, just do it. But it, definitely, if you're going to do it, you know, you have to put in the work. Just let them, so let them know. You have to, they you have have to, to. work at it. If, if you're not going to work at it, you know. Don't waste your own time. You know, where, where can you really see yourself, you know, going like me as a drummer? You know, it just, you know, even, you know, at this age, I, you know, I still have a lot to learn. I still want to continue, you know, being better. You can learn. I learn from everybody. Like I said, my son is 14, and I hear him doing stuff downstairs, and I'll be like, can you show me what that is? As was? long as your mind works, you're always going to have to you learn. Have to, to That's have the point passion. of having a mind. Yeah. You have to have a passion for it, those things that you're doing. Look at me, I was a model. And I went from modeling to acting. 
Mm -hmm. I went from being an actress to the Lois and Lamar TV talk show, and it's all his fault. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, my fault. it's all his fault. Yeah, you know, go. he would get out there and things, and he'd say, "Yo, Lois, I need you to do a little piece of this or a little piece of that." So you never know from day to day where you're going to be. That is and, true. And then I have artists that I manage. I don't know enough about it, but you know, they've asked me. And oh, I wouldn't say you don't know anything about it I'm because I, I see I'm them all over the place. You so know, here, here, somebody has some so, serious you know, connection with like, some bookings. For just someone sure. does. <laughs> <laughs> someone just does. Like, sure. <laughs> Just like the leaves on the trees change, our lives change daily. We never know from day to day, you know, what we're going to be uh, pulled into. So, you know, we just have to, to stay focused and, and be prayerful and, and, and pray that when it comes to us that God has given it to us and, and just, you know, follow him in the mix. Absolutely. And, and it works out for our good. I'm surrounded by greatness. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Just at this table. Right it's here. all about, <laughs> and the thing is, you're not surrounded, you are understand that for you to even recognize any greatness you have to be great yourself if you weren't great yourself you would walk by the average person who probably was great and wouldn't even notice so always remember from within the things that you recognize you will recognize in the outward world mm -hmm. and they will recognize you as well there's someone for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So the people that shine, they find each other and they shine together. And the dimmer lights, they can just be over there for a while until they figure out what that needs to right, be. Right, right. But it's all, but it's all a process. Right, it's it's a process. And so uh, again, I always say, stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Stay true you know. to yourself. There you go. If you act, act like who, you know, you are. Don't it's like try to. You it's know, too hard to be like anybody else. Person, you know, you say it's too hard to be anybody. Do your thing. You know, versus trying to. You know, do what he or she does because. Listen, in junior high, I tried that one. That whole trying to be someone else thing, I tried it. It doesn't work. Yeah, I tried to. It I actually tried to be, sucks. I tried, to be, uh, I tried to be Michael Jordan. You see, you was, try it, right? It really I sucks. Bench. Yeah, I ended up getting benched, so. Yeah. But when you start being yourself, it was easy, right? No, no, no. I didn't make the team anymore after that. No, say when you was yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life was a lot easier Absolutely. when you tried that, right? Absolutely. You know? Yeah, absolutely, we still absolutely. have our little bumps and bruises, but at least we're doing it as ourselves. Absolutely. Like we try to do it as somebody else. It's like it's like driving a truck when you never drove a truck before yeah. a day in your life. Like it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's lanes for everybody. So. Yes, it is. Well, Eric, thank you so much for for coming on the show. We have enjoyed having you. Thank you for and having me. And I wish you the very best in the future with all that you're doing. And thank you for thank allowing you. your journey to be a part of. Yes, absolutely. And you told thank everyone you. where you could be found, right? Yes, uh, on Facebook, Eric mm -hmm. McFadden and the Praise Alliance. Um, on Instagram, Eric Mick underscore TPA. And same thing with Twitter, Eric Mick underscore TPA. And our website, www.ericmcfaddenandtpa.com. TPA! Listen, um, thank you everyone for coming down to the Lois and Lamar show, where your journey is our journey. If you want to come see us, give us a call. We're always sitting around, we're always just hanging out, doing whatever what we do. We'll definitely have you come on down. Peace. Good evening, everyone. Thank you.